boys and girls and everybody in between, welcome back. I'm a little bit beat. It was a very long weekend. Uh, I went to Kamikaze for one day, and then I went exploring Los Angeles with my friends on the other day. Uh, and I wore heels while I was at Kamikaze because we were let's but let's play. <laughs> we were cosplaying as the uh, what? Do you have, do I have to do this again? Really? Didn't we already do this? Wait, what? We already talked to the lady. Anyway, uh, we were cosplaying as the Powerpuff Girls, and uh, I'm sure by the time this video goes up, I will have some some pictures uh, on the Games Over Fight Facebook page. So if you're curious, you can go look at those pictures. The link to the Facebook page is in every video description, so you really have no excuse uh, to not know where it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, what the heck am I supposed to do? Hmm. Find the clip of what? I already are you? Oh my god! Game, you said you saved. You said you saved. Game, really? I have to go kill her again. <sighs> backtracking. It's not even backtracking because I already did this. So well, that's annoying. Whatever. Uh, so hey, uh, let the let the use this as an opportunity to There's uh, the opportunity to buried. to talk. Uh, what should we talk about? How about... How, how is everyone's weekend? How... What was the last con you went to, if you've ever been to a con? And if not, what going? con do you really want to go to? What are we looking for? Uh, I'm not super experienced at cons. Uh, mostly I've just been to Anime Expo. I went for every year for like 10 years. But I haven't there been this year because I went to VidCon instead. And then... Kamikaze as well, though I don't really count Kamikaze just because it's not nearly as big, and it's also, well, in my experience, there's a couple of panels, but it's mostly, mostly just the vendor hall, and since I don't get paid until next week, I wasn't really able to get anything. I did get a little um, Umbreon figure that I'm pretty happy about. He's so cute. He's, he's of course, the one of the evolutions for Eevee in the newer games. Oh my gosh, I want to get X and Y, but that would require a 3DS, and I have to get paid first. And also, I have bills to pay, so we'll have to see. It'll probably be a while. But yeah, I want to get a 3DS. I want to get the X and Y. I want to get Animal Crossing. I want to get... Uh, I want to try the the Phoenix Wright games. I've never actually tried those before, and uh, there's a bunch of others. You guys that have 3DSs should recommend uh, some games for me to check out that uh, I will look into. And I also I haven't Done. gotten the new uh, Assassin's Creed yet. Grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. This reminds She's me so much mother. of Snow White. who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. I can Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? I'll do it. I wonder if you can make her do it. She'd be like, yeah, it's your mom. You need to kill her. You need to be the Kinslayer. Elizabeth. It's her. It's like the Kingslayer. How are you, All locked up in there, huh? Except Talk faster. I have Maybe new no. gameplay Let to explore. Do it. La 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 I'm not even singing along with the thing. You know, I don't think... First Lady of Columbia. I don't think, uh... Oh, there we go. I don't think that having a coffin airtight automatically makes preserve everything. I think there's some black magic at work here. As evinced by the fact that she comes back as a ghost. You chose to follow a false shepherd, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm talking over all this, it's because we already did all this in the last video! What I do, I do for I'm sorry, Lizzie. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want me to do. Boom! Mother lava, boom! I don't think I can hurt her yet. Nope. Okay. It's okay, Lizzie. You stay here and hold your breast. Good job. Elizabeth, are you all right? No, where, where did she oh, go? Oh, irritated. You rest for a minute. No, reading I'm YouTube getting comments. That hand. And Elizabeth? Someone was like, wow, first video I watched, 30 seconds She's in, you make not, a he, comment about he, autism, ableist for the win. Like, oh, so it's a Tumblr. Yeah, if you're that concerned with political correctness, you probably won't like my videos. 
Not that I try to be super offensive, but I do think that uh, a lot of people go a little overboard with the, oh my god, you're not politically correctness. But yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. Okay, so let's see. What shall we do? Let's try some tentacle rape? No. Let's try, I like this one. I mean, I, I want to try this one. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom! <laughs> where, where are you? Where you at? Uh, that didn't do much. Wow, that was an impressive stream, though. Come on, shoot! Good job! You're sealing your own fate! Booyah! You may be a ghost, but you're still mortal enough to die by the power of my swirly fisty thingy. What is it called? I forgot. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm going to die. Obviously, this is the perfect time for charging. Book her! Take this. Book her! Oh yeah! Just throw some traps around. Boom! Uh, hold on, I gotta take you out with bullets, even though you're a ghost, because that makes sense. Is she dead? Oh, that was easy. What there, I killed your mom for you. What Did that I? seal some Freudian loops for you? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When oh, the hey. delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive I feel time like I'm as watching Wrinkle in Time. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. You are She's me. both alive You're and dead. Ankle she deep in dirt right both. now. She finds this condition. Disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow. You know, I was just thinking about process. how there's some really awesome cosplay pictures out there of people uh, cosplaying as, as Elizabeth and as these guys. I uh, haven't seen any big daddies, but I'm sure there, there's some out there. And as Booker. Uh, and th that's one thing that I was a little disappointed in Kamikaze is like there were cosplayers But I kind of feel like most of the cosplayers Were just like they weren't really that into it. I mean there were a lot of female versions of superheroes and They all kind of looked the same like they were all equally sexy But in a boring way like they all looked the same and it was just I don't know you know, obviously, I've already done videos of my opinion about this, and I'm all for dressing sexy if you want to. But, you know, one of the things I try to do when I pick which costumes I decide to make an outfit, uh, first of all, I have to be very attached to that character. Um, that's one of the reasons I, I haven't yet done Morgan, is because I am so attached to her character that I really want to do her justice, and that is Morgan from Dragon Age, not the cat... Uh, or not cat. That's Felicia. Uh, not the bat chick, which I only kind of know <laughs> know about. So doing her would be kind of pointless, in my opinion. Uh, but you know, it, it's good to. Well, you know, those are my reasons for cosplaying. If you are just doing it and you just want people to take your picture a lot, then go ahead. You know, you don't have to be familiar with it. But I don't really, I don't really see the fun in that. I mean, for me, the fun part of cosplay is doing my best to ah hi to enter Comstock house frankly she doesn't Being seem all that cooperative real life representation there is a way to bring her to character. reason three truths you must discover first truths which in this world Comstock has destroyed if only one of you had the power to alter time and space that would be a blessing wouldn't it hmm again wrinkle in time well i already got one of the tears so <laughs> uh are they off about lady Comstock yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She... She doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Okay, I don't know what that was a reference to, but... Alright. Uh... I was gonna make a really profound point, and I forgot what it was. Darn it! <laughs> Wasn't that profound then, I guess. But yeah, just to, to summarize... You know, go ahead and cosplay for whatever your reasons are. Um, but I like to do it because I like to be a faithful representation of my character. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Uh, that's actually why I wore heels for the convention is because 
we were we were cosplaying as the Powerpuff Girls, and I was Blossom, the redhead chick. And uh, it was actually kind of a funny story of how I ended up as Blossom. But anyway, I'll tell you later. Uh, and I just felt like Blossom is kind of prissy, and she, you know, she would put up with the pain and wear heels. I mean, she wouldn't even be in pain because she would just freaking fly everywhere. But if she couldn't fly, I still think she would wear heels just because that's the kind of character she is. And actually, at least for the first couple of hours that I was uh, cosplaying, I was even walking very girly and just like tiptoeing everywhere. And people were like, wow, you're so cute. <laughs> I, I heard that comment multiple times. Who's walking around barefoot? We should get them some shoes. So. That is fun. I like acting, though. I like acting and cosplaying and being creative and all of that stuff. All More that stuff is super fun. Thank you. She still looks pouty. Don't be pouty. But I, yeah, I didn't see any Latisse uh, cosplayers. I did see one Elizabeth cosplayer, and I think she was with Booker. I forget. Um, and there were a couple of cool cosplays. There was one lady. I think she's a professional cosplayer, and I don't even know what her character was. I, th I was reminded of... Wow, her name totally just jumped out of my head. What's her name from Mass Effect? The one with the mask. Wow, I can't believe her name just jumped out of my head. This is so dumb. Ah, but whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, obviously I... Tali! There we go, Tali! I never romanced her. I actually played Fem Shep pretty much exclusively just because I didn't like the voice actor for Male Shep. In most games I usually play a boy. Uh, I don't know what that says about me, but judge it as you may. Hi, are you bad? You're bad, okay. Boom! That was grizzly. Ammo, take it. Give me some cover, girl. Uh. 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 I'm doing things. Okay, let's 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 try some tentacle rape. Boom! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I should. Oh, girls! Ah! Oh god, I'm gonna die, 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 no, 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 I don't wanna crouch. Crouching is the opposite of what I wanna do. I wanna get around this corner, get behind some cover. Alright. Oh, uh, I am so looking forward to finishing this game. It's, it's, it's a nice game, it's fun, etc, 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 but enough is enough, you know? I'm trying to finish this game, I'm... I'm trying to... Whoa, I just got point-blanked by that. I kind of no, walked no, into no, it, though. Fucker. Dang it! No, I don't lose money! Oh, well. Um, I, I kind of want to force myself to beat some of the games that I already have before I get any new ones. I tell myself to do this, but I usually don't stick with it because I'm not very good at keeping my own, <laughs> my own resolutions. <laughs> but hey, at least I can admit it. Uh, let's kill these guys, and then let's wrap this video up because... Uh, uh, places to go, people, people to kill, alternate realities to explore, and uh, you know, I'm just trying to trying to finish up this game so we can move on to greener pastures. You know, you guys. Whoa, have I been in here before? You guys are constantly leaving comments and asking me to play certain games, and well, I'm fine. You know, well, I, I definitely keep that stuff in mind when I'm picking a game. Uh, First of all, I, I'd like to at least be interested in the game, especially if it's something that I'm going to have to pay 40, 50, 60 bucks to get. And also just, you know, I'm trying to pick less super long games, or at least games that I don't necessarily have to beat all the way through to get the full experience. Just because, you know, you guys get bored watching the same game over and over, and I get bored having to play the same game over and over. I've just, I've never really been much for beating games. It's, it's bad, I know. Alright, well, I was gonna kill the people, but I guess they didn't spawn again for some reason. Do it. Really know why. I'm dead. Thank you. Get out of there. Get out of there. What? Sweet! Boom! <laughs> Sorry. Sure thing. I know, I'm not supposed to be violent if I don't want her to be mad at me, but I can't help it! It's fun! Violence is fun! Wow, I'm not good at shooting them in midair. Yay, sniper ammo! Okay, I think that, that, that's it for this area. God, my 
gun is on fire. Why is my gun on fire? I don't even know. You guys should uh, suggest which which power you want me to invest more, because I feel bad. I've pretty much just been using crow and a little bit of the the fire one uh, for most of the game, just because they're awesome. But because I know in, in Dead Space 2, you guys were like, use the force gun, use the whatever gun, and it was, whoa, Cunningham Studios. I totally thought that said a dirty word, because I'm a dirty mind. I, I am a dirty mind. Anyway, all right, so your question for this video is, uh, you know what, we touched on a lot of topics, and again, I've said this in other videos, but I am not too concerned uh, I'm, I'm not afraid of hitting the hard issues, I think. Mostly because I, I have a very laissez-faire opinion about uh, most of that stuff. That's kind of cool. Pretty. Pretty view. Comstock house game. I want to have that in my bedroom, but like a much smaller version of it. Whoops. I, I just meant to point at it. I mean to shoot her. I'm sorry. Okay, so your question is... Uh, how easily or not easily offended are you? I would presume... You have to be pretty hard to offend if you're watching my videos. I mean, I'm certainly not the most offensive Let's Player out there, despite what our dear whoever, what's her name? I'm assuming it's a chick. Uh, love that ableist. Oh, oh, Cleo's an ableist comment. Uh, seems to think I am definitely not the most racist or bigoted uh, YouTuber out there. But I know that I do make certain jokes that certain people are not going to be fans of. And, um... Well, you can't please everyone all the time. I'm not even going to get into that. So, ah, loading. So, yeah, your question is, how hard are you to offend? And, you know, are, are there certain topics that are very, you know, don't even mention them? Or are you pretty whatever about everything? And uh, my answer would be way too complicated. But I do think that there's certain things to be aware of. And especially when you're actually talking to people, you need to be aware of what upsets them, but you can't police yourself all the time and never say anything that no one will ever be offended by because everyone gets offended about different stuff, you know? And if you're never going to say anything because you're afraid that you're going to offend somebody, then you might as well never open your mouth or type anything or anything like that, you know? Because there's always going to be some, there's always at least one person out there who's going to be offended at whatever you said and, uh, Odds are they have internet and aren't afraid to let you know what they think of your opinion. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, like if you like. And uh, again, if you want to see the pictures of me and my friends, that that was proper grammar, uh, dressed as the Powerpuff Girls, go to the Games Are For Fight Facebook page. You can find the link in the description, or you can just go to Facebook and type in Games Are For Fight. It's pretty easy. Bye.